Even a couple of weeks after Hurricane Florence, many animal shelters in the Carolinas are still overflowing. They can't keep up with all of those surrendered pets, and some Pittsburgh area rescuers are answering their call for help. The rescue journey begins by taking to the sky. Here we are on the maiden voyage of the air van on our way to Statesville. Pittsburgh Aviation Animal Rescue Team traveling to North Carolina for two important reasons. To safely bring back some surrendered animals and drop off some much needed help. We have like 300 pounds of medical supplies on board. The shelters down there are just crushed. After two and a half hours in the cloudy blue sky, the team made their delivery and welcomed on board their furry new friends. Fifteen dogs, cats, and kittens all said goodbye to North Carolina and traveled back to Pittsburgh. He is declawed. To be welcomed by different area shelters like Homeless Cat Management Team. Those are our fellow rescuers down there. I can't imagine if we were in that position and we needed outside help because we were facing a, a disaster, I would be so thankful for those other rescues to be able to step in and help pull a couple animals so that we could help the ones that were truly in crisis at that moment. We all know that air travel can certainly be stressful, especially for animals, but these cats, they all handled it like champs, especially Domino here. This guy is 13 years old and he was calm as could be. Four of them still need spayed and neutered. They still need some medical care. They still need testing and vaccinations, but they're super friendly, awesome cats. While rescuers like Margot Cece don't know what the North Carolina animals have been through, they feel good knowing they will help rewrite their story. As rescuers, that's, that's what it's about. It takes teamwork, and when you work together, you're able to save so many more lives. Hopefully, these animals will be ready for adoption soon to begin their new lives in Pennsylvania. Oh, they were all so sweet. And for information on how you can help, go to kdka.com and just look for the link along with this story.